Imagine a world where countries produce and sell the very same goods to each other. Sounds counterintuitive, doesn't it? Yet, this phenomenon, known as intra-industry trade, shapes the global economy in surprising ways. Intra-industry trade refers to the exchange of similar goods and services between countries. It's not about competition in the traditional sense, where each country specializes in different products. Instead, countries engage in intra-industry trade to reap the benefits of variety, scale, and innovation. Take the automotive industry, for example. Germany exports Mercedes-Benz cars to Japan, and in return, Japan exports Toyota cars to Germany. Both are high-quality vehicles, yet they cater to different consumer preferences. This is a perfect illustration of intra-industry trade, where two countries trade similar goods, not because they can't produce them locally, but because they offer consumers a wider range of choices. But why would countries engage in such trade? The answer lies in the concept of differentiated goods. Companies differentiate their products to cater to different tastes and preferences. This differentiation coupled with economies of scale leads to lower production costs and increased efficiency. Intra-industry trade also fosters innovation. Companies are pushed to refine their products and develop new ones to stay competitive, which ultimately benefits consumers and the economy at large. Now let's turn our attention to the beer industry, another fascinating case study. Belgium and Germany, both renowned for their beer production, engage in substantial intra-industry trade. Despite each country's ability to produce high-quality beer, they import and export similar products. This trade not only allows consumers to enjoy a wider variety of beers, but also enhances competition and innovation within the industry. Intra-industry trade is not without its challenges. It requires companies to continuously innovate and differentiate their products, which can be resource-intensive. Also, while consumers enjoy a wider variety of goods, local industries may face increased competition. To recap, intra-industry trade refers to the exchange of similar goods and services between countries. It's driven by the desire for variety, economies of scale, and innovation. We've seen this occur in the automotive and beer industries, where similar goods are traded to cater to different consumer preferences. Intra-industry trade presents both opportunities and challenges. It fosters competition and innovation, offers consumers a wider range of products, and can lead to lower production costs. However, it also requires continuous product differentiation and can increase competition for local industries. In a global economy, understanding the dynamics of intra-industry trade is more important than ever. It provides a fresh perspective on international trade, one that goes beyond the traditional concept of comparative advantage. It's about trading not just for what we can't produce, but for what we want more of, variety, quality, and innovation. In the end, intra-industry trade is about enriching our lives with the diversity of goods and services from around the world. So next time you drive a foreign car or enjoy a foreign beer, remember it's not just about international trade. It's about the incredible diversity and richness that intra-industry trade brings to our global economy.